Hey guys, Jen here from the construction capital of Walt Disney World, Epcot. So I'm actually here with Chloe and she's gonna show me something that I've never seen before and I'm super excited and I can't wait to find it. Follow along. So I am here in the Land Pavilion, right outside in that little store outside of Soren, and they have something called Mickey's Mini Garden. And these are test tubes containing a living plant that is not grown from seed, but from regeneration of cells from a parent. So it's basically a clone. And they have a bunch of different ones. They have clanchow, coxcomb, they have dragon fruit, and that's all I see today. And it looks like these are $14, which is, oh my gosh, this one's so pretty. Oh, there's currently a behind the seats tour going on here in the land. One day, I have to come back and do that again. I did it before we started vlogging. And it is not a trip to food and wine without my strawberry soft serve that I am like legit addicted to. And right outside of guest relations, the construction walls have come out farther and they have ripped out all the trees and all. So now it's just a dirt mound. Crazy. So along with this epic soaring montage, here is the dirt pile. Winnie the Pooh is officially back in the UK. This is so exciting. So it looks like he meets in Christopher Robin's bedroom from 11.30 to 2.10 and then 3 to 6.40. He's getting ready to start meeting again. Maybe we'll peek in. So if you are looking to meet Pooh, he does meet in the back of the toy soldier. So when you enter the toy soldier, you would literally just go straight through in Christopher Robin's bedroom is right back there. So you actually enter from outside. So you would come down the walkway and under the archways where you go in to meet them. Okay, so I put the camera away because I was just having a blast with Pooh. Um, that's awesome. I'll insert pictures right here. Now one thing to note is I did ask more people bringing him honey and they said no. So if you're going to come, you might want to bring a honey pot to make him very happy. So the main reason I'm here, oh wow, Goofy's meeting over there, is the international, the new International Gateway entrance is now open. They've completely finished it. So it's not that weird side-by-side -side that it used to be. It's now a traditional security and then check-in gate again. So it's just five minutes till concert time when I get to see my first Blue October concert. That's so crazy because that was out in the middle of the lake earlier and then it went backstage and now they're pulling it out. And the bridge, that's the bridge you walk over um, by, between China and Africa, is up. This is uh, Blue October, the guys, and we're so blessed and grateful to be here ever since we were children coming here to now. It's, I was sitting backstage and I was thinking, wow, like this is what we, like this is what I do for a living. Like, isn't that crazy? And then I'm like, I'm hoping there'll be people out there. And I'm like, I'm out there and there's all these people. So, such a blessing. Thank you so much. Let's go. Y'all Dancing in the kitchen in the pale 
true love, companionship, and having a life teammate, a partner by your side, feels like. So this is it, this is called King. Follow your heart, follow your feet, your soul. All right, we have one left for you guys right now, and we're gonna come back. This is one of my favorite songs we've ever done. Uh, no, it's not Hate Me. Uh, this is Disney, may I remind you people? We don't come to Disney to sulk. Let's do it, boys. First show just ended and there's already a really long line for the second show. They must be pretty popular. Never actually heard them before, but that was a fantastic concert. Oh, looks like Sergio is still here. He must just not have been here that day when I was here. Sorry, Lee, still playing. So that was my first time ever seeing Blue October and they were really good. Um, the one song, Home, like actually brought tears into my eyes. Like it was that good of a song. And they are like so much fun. And the lead singer was out in the crowd, like hugging and just interacting with all of his fans. That was fantastic. If they come back next year, I will definitely come back and see them again. Every time I come, the Odyssey building gets more and more color on it. This is the oddest paint scheme I have ever seen. Why? The only thing I can figure is this is the building they're putting the rainbow tunnel in. Cause that's the only reason this weird paint scheme I can imagine would be here. And even on the backside when you're coming from Test Track, now this isn't bright colored at all. This is gray and white. I don't know what is going on with this building. So this fun little building in front of us is no longer Taste Track. That has been completely removed and they brought in this one, which is called the Donut Box. However, it does not open until October 1st, which is the same day that the new fireworks show starts. So guess where I'm gonna be on October 1st? And you know I wasn't gonna walk all the way over here and not do single rider test track. Does that mean they're automatically sending them now? Wow, they put up even more construction walls. You now can't go over by Guardians of the Galaxy or the festival building at all. Wow, that's crazy. So now it's just a straight run from the walkthrough to Mission Space and Test Track. There's just these big ugly green walls the whole way. Holy sun, Batman, that is bright. Okay, so it only cuts by the, just past the monorail. So you can still get to the Joffrey stand, which has moved because over here is now the Disney Du Jour dance party. Oh my God, the little kids dancing are so cute. 
So Lee made the mistake of telling me I'm on my own for dinner because he tried to call me for my order when I was on test track. So I'm an interpreting that as I'm allowed to get something from Food & Wine. So let's go find some food. <laughs> hmm, what should I eat? And I just remembered, I still have two slices of pizza left over from lunch this afternoon. So I have my dinner in the car. So I think I'm gonna skip straight to dessert. Look at how good this looks. And this time I don't have Jeremy with me so I get to eat it all myself. So many construction walls. It stinks because it totally ruins the picture of Spaceship Earth from this side now too. Bugger. And I didn't even notice yesterday they did finally completely close off this area so you can't even get over there at all. So you either have to take the bridge over or cut through mouse gears um, to get over to Test Track and Mission Space. Guys, look at this sunset behind me. Oh, I've cut at night is so at dusk is so pretty. But I never did explain that I'm in a different shirt for like half of this vlog. That's because yesterday I left and completely forgot that the new entranceway over an international gateway was open. So I had to come back and film that. And I wasn't gonna do two full up cut vlogs in a row. So I just cut that one in half and then I'm cutting today's in half so you get one full vlog. But that's gonna do it for me here today. If you but if you like these videos, please click that subscribe button. Once again, folks, this is my final. Like and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching, and now we're on to the next adventure. Bye guys!